Right guys, um, this is a, just a little video on the actual problem with uh, stick drift on the PS5 DualSense controls. So this is um, a potentiometer, um, this is obviously one that was faulty. Um, so what we'll do is I will take this out and I'll show you the problem with these uh, that causes obviously a uh, stick drift. So we'll try and get the, the lighting correct. Um, so what we'll do is we will pull this out, we'll flip this over. There we go. Um, and let's get the light set up right. So as you can see here, um, this is literally just a, a little, the one on the right, this here, uh, it's got a little kind of metal shim um, that in turn, when you put this in, uh, it makes contact with this here, okay? So, on the one on the left, on the green, uh, inside it, you've got the, the little black contacts, but I just... If you look real close, you've got this part here, this part here, and this, right? This is kind of, that's kind of oil and dirt and grime, which is fine. Um, but this here is not, this is actually worn away, okay? Now, if I scrape this away, you'll start to see this come away even more. There we go. And this is the root problem of um, stick drift. It doesn't get a good uh, contact with this copper shim, which then in turn sends the wrong signal voltage to your controller and you get stick drift. Um, so obviously if you think of this being worn away constantly over hours and hours of gaming, um, this will obviously give off um, the wrong voltage and um, so that is the main problem for stick drift. Um, you can replace just the potentiometers um, like this is obviously still an old one. The other thing to remember is look see how bone dry this is it shouldn't be like that there should be a tiny little bit of grease in there or lubricating uh, fluid so that this um, is not is not dry. Nobody likes it dry. Um, so that's got to stay nice and lubed. Um, there is a small drop in this one, but you can see it's obviously shiny. Um, but at the end of the day, this is the main problem here um, for the stick drift. Now let me push these away and I'll bring in a new one. So this is a brand new one. Um, this is part of a, a pack, so you can see obviously how um, nice and how good looking it is. So what we'll do is, for science, we will pull out um, one of these internals, just ever so slightly, because I'm going to use it again. So there we go, that's a brand new potentiometer. Okay, um, now if the difference is obviously night and day. Um, look at the the green part and um, look inside you've, it's all nice and black and then you've obviously got the nice um, lubricating um, fluid I don't know what they use um, but you can obviously see the difference between this one and this one it's just bone dry so bone dry and nice and lubricated um, for better gameplay um, the shim on this one is, let me just double check, I think they're the same, I actually haven't checked that. Uh, I think they're a different colour, yeah. So these ones obviously are, this one here is original and this one here is OEM. So there's a slight difference obviously in the colour, um, probably different manufacturers, who knows. Um, the OEM one will be a different manufacturer. But yeah, the difference is obviously night and day. Uh, 
if you look at this one here, brand new, uh, all the contacts are in, um, all the contacts are in place, there's nothing missing, there's nothing uh, falling off and it's got the lovely uh, lubricating um, fluid there which is obviously missing on the other stuff. As soon as the fluid goes, you're then obviously having um, contact on contact and that just doesn't work from that point on, you are in trouble and you won't know that until obviously you get stick drift. Now, when you do, um, try and get it into a shop. There's no way to fix it with any lubricating fluids, so to speak. This isn't a fluid, it's more of a paste, it's more of an oily gel. Um, so you need to dig down into the controller anyway um, to fix this. So if you're in the controller um, and the guts of it anyway, just replace um, the full potentiometer, which is a, not the potentiometer, but the full thumbstick, which obviously comes with the two potentiometers, the thumbstick as well, uh, and everything that you need. Um, it won't take long. You're better off replacing both at the same time. If um, one has drift stick on the left, I guarantee you the one on the right will have it not far behind. Um, so yeah, you're better off doing both at the same time. So that's just a little quick video guys on stick drift and how to fix it. Replace both thumbsticks um, at the same time with uh, either OEM potentiometers or replace uh, both the thumbsticks at the same time. My advice, do both the thumbsticks. They come with new potentiometers and you're better off doing it because you're in there anyway. So that's it guys. Um, if you like uh, the video, please comment below and make sure you subscribe. More stuff coming up. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see you in the next one. Have a good weekend. Catch you later. Bye.